Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing well. <laughs> welcome to my bedroom. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to me with soaking wet hair. Um, I've just jumped out the shower and thought actually whilst I've got wet hair and I'm about to do my curly girl routine, I would just show you what I do. I don't know if this will be of interest to anybody, but if you have curly hair or if you have wavy hair and I don't know, you like to embrace your natural curl, which you all should because curly hair is beautiful. I'm just going to show you kind of my steps to getting my curly hair, what I've done, what products I use. I'm going to show you kind of the steps that I'm going to do after I've done this intro <laughs> of how to get the curly hair and then I'm going to, I've got an appointment so I'm probably going to go out, come back and then I'll kind of show you like the end result and stuff like that. So if you are interested then I guess just stay tuned. <laughs> so like I said I've literally just jumped out of the shower and my hair is soaking wet. I'm going to show you the two products that I use in the shower this differs for everybody. Everyone's hair is so different. Um, everyone's hair takes different products in different ways. So I know that this works for me, but and I would recommend it to you, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna work the best for you. Um, so the shampoo that I use, I've literally just got the shower, so it's soaking wet, is the uh, Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo, which looks like this. Am I a real YouTuber now? There is a website called Curly Bots and I'll leave the link down below and basically it's really really good to start off if you're on your kind of like curly journey which I started three years ago uh just gone so April 2019 I started to do like the whole curly girl thing. Friends if you're watching this I'm, I'm gonna try not to bore you because I've never talked about it for three years but for anyone new <laughs> hi. But I use this shampoo I use it twice just like you normally would with the shampoo one to kind of get the dirt off your head and then the second to actually clean your hair. With the Curly Bots website which I was talking about before it's a really good website to use because basically what you do is you just copy and paste all of the ingredients from any product that you fancy using and put it into this kind of like search bar and it tells you whether the product is good for your hair whether it's full of sulfates or sulfate free or silicone free um, and lists kind of all the other ingredients as well. One thing you need to be aware of for curly hair and this is a rule you need to stay away from silicones and sulfates to be fair this is for everybody everyone and their mother whether you have curly hair or dead dead straight hair they are not good for your hair if you can find a shampoo which literally says no sulfates on it i'd go for that one personally but obviously i'm not here to i'm not here to lecture anybody i'm just saying that that's that's that rule is for anyone really so this is the shampoo that I use and then the conditioner that I always go for without fail is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food which is this one. I also love the papaya one as well. I always find it very hard to get hold of the papaya one but the banana one is always my go-to. It's 98% natural ingredients which is also lovely and the good thing about this conditioner is that you can use it in three ways so you can use it as a conditioner which is what I do, as a mask which I also do and as a leave-in which I also do. Um, so yeah, I think in boots, sometimes they're reduced to like five pounds, but otherwise are like six pound fifty or something. So definitely worth it. And you get a lot. So I don't recommend that. So I'm now going to take you to the bathroom. I'm going to put some more products in my hair and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll turn out lovely. So we're back in my bathroom and I don't have any um, shorts on, so I'm trying not to flush in my pants. So the first thing that I like to do when I get out of the shower, when you get out of the shower, do not squeeze your hair of the moisture. You want to leave all the water in as you can. The next thing, you don't want to put it in a towel, just leave it to drip. I know it's going to go everywhere, but it's fine. It's water you can clear up. You do not want to soak any, any, any moisture or water out of your hair. Basically, what I do when I get out of the shower is, as you can tell, it is already starting to curl here, which is great. I literally just run my hands under cold water and comb water through your hair. The key is moisture. You want moisture in your hair, so I'm going to do that right now. is dripping wet hence why i had the towel on my head before once you've done this and your hair is dripping wet you want to start putting your products in now my go-to product at the minute like i said before not every product works on every hair however the one that i'm using at the minute which my hair seems to love is aunt jackie's curls and coils this hefty tub of basically hair gel you do not want to use a lot i will show you literally the amount that i use um i like to wet my hands first because it's a bit sticky and like I said, I don't use a lot and I like to water it down with a bit of water. And then basically what you want to do, I'll show you, but you just want to put your hands in like little cups and you just want to like 
scrunch your hair. Again, you don't want to take out too much moisture. You are going to obviously squeeze it to get the product into your actual hair, but try not to squeeze that much moisture out of your hair. So I'm just running my hands under the cold water now, so my hands are, my hands are wet. And you literally just want to take like that much. It doesn't help that it's like gel, so you can barely see it. Um, rub it between your fingers. You want to tip your head upside down. And you basically just want to scrunch and shake. Make sure to get both sides. This is kind of what it looks like currently. What you can also do, which I find, which I do sometimes, not all the time, if my hair feels a little bit dry, I like to use the conditioner that I showed you before as a mask. So I'll rake the conditioner through the ends of my hair, like you usually would just with a conditioner. And then I put this gel on top. It almost creates like a cast, which honestly, when you scrunch out the cast, one, it is super satisfying, and two, your hair feels absolutely amazing. Um, my hair doesn't feel particularly dry at the minute, so I'm gonna skip out the conditioner part and just go straight to the product. Um, so, after doing that, we are left with this. Ignore the, <laughs> ignore the background, but we are left with these. Um, and it's looking fairly good. Now, the final step for me, you don't have to do this. And um, unless you have one of these towels, I probably wouldn't advise it. Like I said, stay away from towels. You can, however, use one of these towels, which are, although I did say stay away from towels, I would actually recommend getting hold of one of these towels. They are 100% microfiber towels. So if you can get hold of one of these, these are wonderful for your hair. And basically, like you would with the product, you just want to tip your hair upside down, use the towel and just kind of scrunch and shake. This way, it's locking the product and the moisture into your hair without ruining your strands of hair. Because with a normal towel, um, although no matter how soft they are, <laughs> they're not great for anyone's hair, really, to be honest. So again, this is not just for curly haired people, but for, but for everyone. You want to try when you're doing a bit of scrunching to scrunch at the root. That way it should lift your curls um, and make your hair a bit more vol volumized scrunch scrunch and shake basically and this after scrunching is what i am left with look at this baby that's formed love her and basically that's it you just want to wait for your hair to dry if you have a, a hair dryer and you have a diffuser attachment they are great i also have one of those but i'm just going to leave my hair to just dry naturally um and I will be back basically when it's dried. Now, because it's got a product in it, it takes a bit of a while. And I mean a couple of hours. So um, I will be back, I guess, when it's fully dry. So this is currently the state that my hair is in right now. Um, it's just drying, but as you can tell, it's definitely lifted and it's definitely curling, which is great. I'm just watching those clips back and like I said before, right at the beginning, my journey started in um, April 2019. This will not happen overnight. Your hair will take a while to adjust to the different products that you're using the different techniques that you're doing and to be honest it's going to look bad before it looks good so yeah i just wanted to throw that in there um before you all go trying it and you all come after me um yeah and i've tried a few products these the past few years so if you have any products that you're thinking of buying or want any like recommendations for any shampoos conditioners products gels mousses i've gone through a lot of them so please let me know and i will try and help I have had to change rooms because the lighting wasn't really good in mine. But this is the hair. This is the final result. It is um, half past ten now. So, yeah, it took a couple of hours <laughs> to dry and once you're doing the whole process. So it's not a quick process, but it's definitely worth it. Um, but, yeah, this is what it looks like from the front. I've got some lovely ringlets going on. Um, and my hair feels absolutely lovely. Uh, I'll do a quick turn around so you can see the back. And yeah, that's that's it. That's the end of the video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment. Like I said, if you have any questions or you want any advice or 
just any queries regarding the curly girl journey then please leave them down below and i'll be happy to help but other than that i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time with a brand new video i'm actually going to london tonight so maybe i'll vlog the weekend stay tuned